So hello and welcome to another episode of Dean's Falls. Today I'm in my old wrestle car I'm just about to take it to my local garage to get the brakes sorted now. One of the long standing issues with this car is the brakes. It's had very squeaky brakes. Um, usually if you put your foot down fairly hard and also when you come into a stop from like five miles an hour down to a stop as a traffic lights or roundabout, whatever. Um, it seems to squeak quite a bit. So today is the day where we get it done. So it's already been down, had a little bit of work, like copper grease, uh, the brakes have taken apart to see like, what's causing the issue, but they can't seem to find the issue. So the next step they've said, and bear in mind that I've had that two garages said the exact same thing, one was in the main dealer, um, is to replace the, they're uh, gonna replace the pads and also the discs as well. So. They've said to me that there were fairly good um, tread left on both of them or fairly good wear left on them. Um, so I don't particularly want to replace them, but I also don't want that issue <laughs> squeaky. It's really embarrassing more than anything when you pull up to somewhere, uh, a traffic lights and people start looking at what's that, what's making at home in the squeaky noise. So, And it's probably one of the last things on this car that was an issue when I bought it. So I think we're definitely getting down that list now of things that need to. So I'm gonna go, let the car warm up at the moment, I'm gonna pop it down to the garage. Um, it's only a few minutes away from where I live, so not too bad. So, I took the car down to the garage, as you saw in the last clip. Um, they replaced all the weird pads and discs. Um, so not too bad, thankfully. It didn't cost as much as the car originally cost me, so I can't complain too much about that. I think it was just under about 280, something like 270, 280 to replace them. So, plus that included a labour charge from the first time they looked at it as well, because they spent a little bit of time um taking apart the brakes and testing it and, and all that sort of stuff and it originally went down there um and they obviously copper greased their things so there's a little bit of extra labor charge in there as well so i don't think that's too bad really um so anyway they tested the car again they said to me yep there's no brakes uh it's no squeaks in the brakes not no brakes no squeaks from the brakes it definitely was brakes but no squeaks from them um and so i decided just very quickly to take out for a little spin just locally just for about five ten minutes and I tried to into a stop, I tried to put my foot heavy on the brakes, I did a few little things, there were no cars around, it's quite quiet. Uh, and the, I can confirm that there was no squeaky brakes, um, which is a relief. I had, ever since I've had this car, it's always had squeaky brakes, and I reckon it must have been that I think the car wasn't used a lot before, I don't know if I can put it down to, or whether there was obviously an issue with the brakes. Um, so maybe it was parked up for a while and that's what's caused the problem with the brakes. I'm not too sure, but anyway, managed to get the issue sorted. It's been going on for a while. When I actually bought the car, you only had to look at the brakes and they started squeaking. Um, yeah, not very good. It got better with a bit of use. I did use the car and it actually did get better, but it always seemed to be still an issue. It was still a bit of a squeak. Um, it always seemed to me I go to car shows. <laughs> it happened when you used to go to stops. So you were in a queue to get to a car show and just would not stop squeaking the whole way. It's like, oh no. And definitely you sort of look at yourself. It's, it's one of them, everyone thinks that nice Mercedes is definitely going to make an old squeaking sound. It did. Um, so anyway, I'm pleased to report, and it, the long and short of it is that it's, it's all sorted now. So that's another, probably one of the last things on this car to actually do. So, I think we're getting towards the end of this little project actually. Um, there's only spark plugs that I want to do, I want to try and do them myself. Um, there's also the mirrors I actually have, I haven't quite gone into fitting it yet. Uh, the pasture mirror has an issue and that's been a white saga getting a new one for that, but we'll go into that another day. Um, and I think possibly, ooh, I to do, possibly a new stereo. Um, I do want to start using this car some slightly longer, I don't know if I'll come on to it in a minute. Um, and possibly a stereo with a bit of Bluetooth, I can possibly put a little bit of music on. You don't always want to drive the roof down, it's not always a nice sunny day. And if I do drive the roof, I would like to play a little bit of music and maybe just receive and not maybe not receive, depending on who it is, uh, phone calls as well. So, possibly might look at a Bluetooth stereo. There is someone in Germany, I've seen on eBay, who does a Audio 10, and he's actually re bought it with Bluetooth. So I'm quite interested in one, but I think they were 250 euro, 300 euro. It's again, quite a lot considering you can buy a standard Audio 10 for less than 100 pound. So it's one of them, do I desperately want the Bluetooth? Do I want to find an aftermarket unit at the moment? It's a Kenwood unit in here, so we'll see anyway. So I think that's about it for Project Yes, okay. Literally that is 
the last few little bits to do now it's it's been a long long <laughs> project i said to myself i'll give it six months and i'm still here about 18 months later still cracking on with stuff probably longer than that to be fair it's sort of strange coming to the end of this project now because i never intended to actually buy this car i never went out looking for an slk like this um if you know the story of it i'll briefly mention it it's basically i used to work at a car dealership this came in as part of exchange 500 pound it had issues i knew that for the money um and i've basically bought it in this stage in the last 18 months or so um i've sort of got to the point where i'm nearly finished now i'm just like what else do i do with this car now i i do love it i want to keep this car because i've fallen in love with this car more than i thought i would i thought i'd have it for a bit and then sort of get a bit bored or whatever and i have to admit i fall head over heels in love with this car i absolutely love it um it's just the analog and it's just one of those it's it's like a bit of a secret as well i like about it. no one quite appreciates these cars i know quite a few people comment on this car and say how come it's not worth more money than it actually is it's just a crying shame that even this one being quite a relatively tidy example um would probably be like two two and a half maybe now for market and again for that money it's not really worth me selling it i'm not gonna gain a whole load of stuff that you know i could do something with the money it's not like a great big you know like 10 20 grand where actually it's a big chunk of money to do something else with it i'm sort of actually for that money i might as well keep this car it's worth more to me as a little sort of word around kind of take some shows uh, and just use it and enjoy it really so I suppose what else would you guys like me to do? What else do you want to see from this car? Um, and let me know in the comments really. So I was contemplating taking this car to Goodwood. It would be the longest trip I've done so far. I did go over to Wales last year and I did about 120 miles in the afternoon. Um, very enjoyable. I really enjoyed actually doing this car, but it's a bit the first sort of night away I'd actually have in this car. Um, I'm going to Goodwood, I'm staying down uh, Wednesday night locally, uh, meeting up a friend at the cafe machine, the hut, and then we're going to set a hotel locally, and then we'll be we're down there and ready to go for Goodwood on Thursday. So possibly thinking of taking this. Possibly, I don't know. It's not as I would take. I'll be more inclined to take it if I'm actually staying at Goodwood, but I'm just I'm not really fussed. I'm just going to park it in the car park. So wherever I take this car, um, which would probably cost me quite a bit in fuel to be honest. It does drink quite a bit of fuel. This was not the most fuel efficient. I think we used to slightly newer cars it's it's no slv eh? let's be honest but it's still to drink fuel quite a bit um so it's sort of i'm still in the middle at the moment where it's said this my head says the b class my heart says this because i can't use us to take this really um but my head said you know actually the, in terms of cost and practicality that's got bluetooth bought into it that's got satin of the b class so it's got everything there i just need i can just hop in and drive and that's it you know um yeah so anyway i might see i think if the weather's a bit nice as well i think i'd be more inclined to take this car but anyway that's enough waffle for me today i'm just glad that this car's been sorted and you know, we're pretty much there now on this product a couple of bits and pieces to do as i mentioned but yeah we're pretty much there now um so as ever like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you next time goodbye